Shi He She, a new leader, Penetui Antoine, continued his testimony. He was sent to Mount Cashel Orphanage in Newfoundland when he was about five years old, punished for speaking his language. That's what I call cruel in my, li in my lifetime. You don't see a person doing that to you, to you, to a lot of people like that. They don't do that because there were different brothers. The, the, the first thing I knew, there were Irish brothers from Ireland. Antoine testified the Inu were promised houses in the community of Shesheshe if they did not go to the country. Neither, neither one of them had running water. Neither one of them have a bathroom. Mahashu, Inu leader Joaquim Nui, also testified in the Inu language. He said traditions were lost, such as the shaking tent, a sacred ceremony to honor animals before a hunt. Is there no one here that is still practicing shaking tent? I think uh, this, he said, shaking tent died off when the priests came into the community, when they contacted Inu people. What they've been told by a priest, this work that you're doing is devil's work. So that's when the Inu elders lost interest, what I've been told by a priest. Nui testified how five children put into his care fared much better than in the system. Those kids that were, uh, the kids that were under my care, he says, like the, those kids were uh, departed to their separate ways. And just uh, said, when, when it comes to the kids that I uh, had in care, they, they never lost their identity, their language, and their, and their uh, way of being. That's what you know. Commissioner of the Inquiry, Anastasia QP, said the testimonies of elders are for gathering information. What Elder Joachim said, that people were happy and people, people looked after their children. People provided for their children. And that's really important information. And this is, for this week, is, is the information we're looking for. The inquiry is expected to continue for 18 months with hearings in Sheheshi and Natwashish over the next few months. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Jabuktuk, known as Halifax.